Hi, this is Jolene Feist, and this Take 5 message is called Don't Get Comfortable in Your Marriage. Amen? So real quick, I'm talking about the reference in Ephesians 5, kind of spirit-guided relationships between wife and a husband, and how if we are being spirit-led and, and taking both our roles seriously, how we can be a representation of Christ in the church. Amen. So I'm going to more speak to the wife because I'm a wife and I know my role as a wife and when I'm doing my job, how God can be glorified in our marriage and how we can get the enemy out of our marriage. So real quick, um, I want to share a little testimony about how Cole and I kind of had this crazy cycle last year. It was after the twins were born. We had, you know, three kids back to back and we really never fought until we had kids. So a lot of you moms and dads can relate that kids can literally fester up nasty stuff that could be hidden in your heart that you need to look in the mirror and just say, hey, I need to get free of this that just keeps coming up. So I'm going to share a quick testimony that actually happened at church. Uh, so yeah, we were fighting a lot. It was the same stupid fight over and over again. Nothing huge, but we just, we both didn't like fighting because we never really fought before. And uh, we both felt kind of defeated. Like, why can we not stop fighting? What, what is going on? And one day at church, I it was last fall, I believe, um, I just felt the Holy Spirit tell me that I had the spirit of offense and the spirit of insecurity and that I needed to get free of this in order to be a blessing to my husband. So um, the Rothmeyers, I think, were sitting behind me and I was feeling like my husband and I needed to get prayer over them because they're marriage counselors. And um, I we ended up getting prayer and I got free that day of the spirit of offense and insecurity. And that day uh, on, Cole and I barely fought. You know, we have, we've had little challenges after that, but literally it broke the cycle of fighting kind of a lot to very little. So I just hopefully this testimony can help at least one mom uh, to just just to see her own sin and to see her part. And if this if 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 these fights that they keep having, if there's something in you or something that you need to be free of, to look yourself in the mirror and just ask God, what is behind me feeling um, sad, feeling discouraged? It could be something that you actually need to get free of to kick the enemy out of your marriage. And we're learning about the armor of God right now at church. So it talks about how um, evil spirits can be even assigned on your marriage and how you can actually kick the devil out even in your marriage and just bring unity back into the home. But uh, number one, I just, I, I came with three things in a marriage that if you do these three things, I believe that you can be that spirit led um, husband and wife is number one, don't look to change your spouse, look to change yourself. So you are not your husband's Holy Spirit, okay? Okay, so we're not his Holy Spirit, but we are called to pray and we are called to respect him and we're our, we are called to submit and honor him and be his helpmate. So those are areas that we are called to do. I'm speaking more to the mom right now because I'm a, I'm a woman, so I have authority to speak into the woman, not a man. But when you're looking to change yourself, God will be glorified and he, he will change you. So then you're taking your role serious and, and God will work a miracle in your marriage. And number two is being on mission with your spouse. Actually, Cole and I went through a training called Messenger Boot Camp when we were dating. And it was a huge blessing for us because we knew that our marriage wasn't just about us. It was about leading lost people to the kingdom of God. So we learned how to hear from the Lord and how to evangelize, spirit-led evangelism. So if you want more information on that, it's a great training on how to share the gospel um, wherever you go. And, and God wants to use all of us. Once we're born again, he wants to use all of us to lead someone to Christ or to pray over them, to do whatever... Um, our piece is in that mission to um, leading someone to the Lord. And number three, for women, um, I'm just going to read our, our, our half of a marriage. It, again, I said to, to respect, to submit to your husband. So I'm going to reference Ephesians 5, uh, 22 through 23. 
For wives, this means submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For a husband is head of his wife as Christ is a head of his church and the savior of his body, the church. As the church submits to Christ, so you wives must submit to your husbands in everything. So I know for me, if my husband really wants to do something, if I'm fighting over him with that, I just, I hear that little whisper say, submit, submit, honor your husband, respect your husband. Quick testimony, my husband wanted to go on this men's retreat for Father's Day weekend and I already had something planned with our family and I told him no and I was kind of just harsh and I literally heard the Lord say do not fight with him submit if this is what he wants to do let him do it so I I, I repented to him and I just said hey go and do this I'll figure it out with the kids and the family I, I want to take my role seriously to submit to you in all things. And if this is what's going to really bless you on Father's Day, I want to let you do this. Uh, so it was actually freeing for me to do that. Um, I don't know, maybe this word can help some other woman out there, but we're called to submit in all things and to take our role seriously. And if both um, the husband and wife are doing this. God will use your marriage in a powerful way. I know he will um, because he has with Cole and I. Our, our marriage isn't perfect. We're still growing and we're still working on how to be strong, even with the busyness with kids. So three practical points that are just takeaways for a strong marriage is to pray together every night. I know Cole and I, we try never to miss praying together every night before we go to bed. And when we do fight, we forgive very quickly because that kicks the enemy out of the home and out of our relationship. So we even pray after we sin against each other and we repent to one another. I'll say, Cole, I, I just repented to God. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. Please forgive me. And he's like, okay, I forgive you. So that's how you kick the enemy out of your marriage. And number three is schedule dates. I know Cole and I just found a babysitter, so we'll be scheduling more dates so we can um, really, really be intentional about pursuing each other even when we have young kids. So hopefully this word um, will just help at least one marriage. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to share my testimony and how marriages are so important uh, and how we can be the representation of the church um, in Ephesians 5. Um, we, we hear. So amen, be blessed by this word and God bless.